As some people are getting a little depressed that the machines are sort of taking over, it <laughs> seems to me that the role of human ingenuity or, or creativity when it comes to branding and, and stuff, you know, th there could be streaming and digital concerts, but uh, just back to my point, some of the stuff that you are engaged in and the, and the kind of leaps you make every time here, they are somewhat more timeless and you're tying it into to experiences, right? Which is big in, in, in marketing. What, you know, when you think about uh, how you're going to evolve your brand and how this decade has kind of started with a with a bang, I guess, with COVID and everything, uh, but also, you know, technology is moving really fast. What do you think the next generation kind of innovators, celebrities and influencers, what are the things that they can bring to bear i mean is is all of this just timeless and you're sort of not worried about this kind of activity at all like you will you will simply find these product extensions or you'll just uh you know reinvent yourself and use your 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 creative talent in some way or do you think there's something fundamental going on here that entertainment will have to not just follow but actually become radically different in this somewhat virtualized world that we're we're really entering in this decade it is it is even nowadays it's a lot harder than it was uh back then even though people would think that it was easier now because you have more at your fingertips it was harder it's it's harder now to be seen to be heard um and it's funny because you know back when uh you know celebrity meant something you know celebrity meant you know it's, this person worked hard they did what they did they you know that that when you heard of them you heard of them because they really did stand the test of time they really did go you know all over the world and all over the country and and make these appearances and you saw them and you know when you saw them on television it was like oh my god they're on tv or you hear them on radio oh my god it's radio but now you know as as the future moves forward you know um you've got you know it's easy not not easy but radio it's not just radio anymore it's internet uh radio it's it's um you know podcasting it's you know it's you name it and it's there remember back when i don't know how old you are i might be dating myself here but there was was pirate radio you know it is before we had like internet and and uh and stuff. there was pirate radio that um you know uh, they used to like jump on back back of other people's airwaves and and so forth and that was that was like you know the thing back then now i mean you know it, again you can you can get on to uh, and do anything you know you go online and you could just start up a, a website or this or that so there's so much out there now not that there wasn't before because there was before it was just harder to be seen and heard you know um or get your name out there because you had to find people now you could find the people but there is so it's so much easier to find these people where you you know they're getting hundreds of thousands of different you know things sent to them weekly on a daily think about social media there's tons of, you just go on and just scroll 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 it's so hard to stand out brim right yes i mean it's, it's, it's very extremely. very hard. So you have to, you know, the one thing that will always remain throughout all of time, I don't care what it is, where you are, how you're doing it, in entertainment, in business, the one thing that will never change is you still have to have a brand. You have to build a brand and you have to have that brand and you have to nurture that brand. That will never change. What will change and what will continue to change will be specifically how you're going to get that brand out there into the world and into the ether. That's the biggest, you know, issue right now. People have great, show. you have a great show. We have a show. They have a show. Everybody has this and what I have, a, I have a new product, I, you know, whatever it is. Now you have to put that out into the ether and, and let people see it. And um, the fact is, is consumption you know human consumption they can only take so much you know and before they just are scrolling without giving a damn you know what i mean so you have i mean even even now i think it was originally like 15 seconds or something that you had to get somebody's attention originally or or at least in the last couple of years now it's like two seconds three seconds you have you know the the time of a swipe to get somebody's you know interest well, so what's your advice there i mean not everybody has and, and, you know, I'm going to be wrong in saying this because your personality clearly is something that you've worked on. Like, I, I, I'm sure you didn't show up like this at five. Like you, you, you have a personality <laughs> that you have 
discovered works also, but you know, some of it might be natural, some of it is actually hard earned, or you've worked on this to 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 you know develop these these ways of speaking that that are fascinating. What do you have to bring and and what of what part of it can be learned and what sort of part of it is is just not there because you know production quality yes creativity perhaps and some uniqueness and, and then positioning yourself and like you said branding but this life factor that you clearly have and that you have built on and you you are able to do these extensions but people recognize it as something authentic and exciting because of you mm. how can others emanate that let's just take a case in point like all of these authors out there i have a bunch of them on my show i am an author it is really hard to stand out as an author these days because you know what everything is canceled so podcast is actually the only kind of thing that's left even then you can go on a gazillion of podcasts but very few people sell many many books that's just you know kind of from my i mean i'm not in wrestling so it's not really easy for me to kind of figure out you know whether it's really really hard to be you know it was really really hard to to operate as a wrestler or not you tell me but if you kind of use that broader kind of broader categories and you know comics obviously that's a that's a writing profession and a and a visual profession what makes people stand out cuz i've talked to some unsuccessful comic book writers as well or or certainly people that aren't as well known as you what is it that people ultimately need to be able to do in order to sustain a very successful brand over time or build many like you have done one you have to be unapologetically authentic um that's first and foremost two you need some personality you know what i mean when you're going out into the world yes you might be the best writer on the planet but if you can't speak the way you write well that's going to be a little bit of an issue um because again people have such short attention spans nowadays that you know they want to be captured right at the moment. First thing I did when I came on here today Tron, what did I do? Finally Brimstone has made it. You know what I mean like and I want to yeah. catch your attention. Why? Because if you if I don't catch your attention at the first few seconds of this show, nobody's going to care what I have to say afterwards. You know what I mean? So I can have the best book on the planet if you're not interested in hearing about it or you're not interested in reading it and I'm boring you when I'm on here, well guess what? There's no way you're going to read my book. There's no possible way whatsoever. So I think that being a little bit more animated, getting comfortable within your own skin, which is a very big thing and a lot of people have a problem with that, but getting getting comfortable within your own skin and putting yourself out there with your best foot forwards and your mouth open wide. Um I feel that that is going to be your best bet for anybody who's in entertainment, anybody who is a creative. Some people are just afraid to talk. Some people are afraid to get in front of people. That's the only way you're going to be seen. You got to bite, kick, scratch, you know, and fight to be seen and heard nowadays, you know? Um Prim, do you think this has to do with uh personality because that would be a good excuse for people, you know, to say, "Oh, I'm an introvert, I can never do this." Or is it trained? I mean, you make did you make a conscious decision you're just going to kind of show off more of what you think you've got or or do you think it was something innate that you you would have been a sort of a rowdy wild character whether you or not you you know you actually ended up being famous it's all it's all a little bit of everything um it's a little bit of everything to be completely honest when we were talking prior to me coming on i was laid back i was calm you know, we were talking we were having a regular conversation of course if i'm here and my voice inflection doesn't match what i'm talking about and get you involved then you're not going to be interested you know what i mean <laughs> um so Yes, like to to a certain extent a lot of it was learned over the years, you know, and I've emulated people that that um you know, of course it's all me, but I you know, I wanted to emulate people that that I respect and I admire and and people that um have always been, you know, true to, you know, their brand. Um, you know, and 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 over the years you find more people that, you know, you you go, "Wow, this guy is is really good at this one is really great." Like you for me personally, and this might sound weird as all hell, one of the people that i've always tried to to follow career wise is madonna you want to know why cuz every 5 years or so she comes out completely re, you know refurbished she's still madonna but now she's just you know kind of tweaking it to you know to stay relevant you know what i mean she tweaks a little bit but she's still madonna 
You know what I mean? And and she was what and Prince before he died did the same thing. But Madonna all throughout this time, you know what I mean, has always done stuff to to stay relevant. And that for me is is something that I, I um, you know, always pay attention to and have paid attention to um, in terms of of of, um, you know, public speaking. It can be learned. It can be taught. You know, personality can be taught to a certain extent. You either have it or you don't. I mean, you know what I mean? But, but, you know, to a certain extent, you can be a little less than boring. You know what I mean? Like, you know <laughs> That's what useful, I mean? right? Uh, you know, yeah. I, to, to be completely honest, um, you know, and I don't, and I'm not trying to be rude or put anybody down because anybody could do anything that they put their hearts and their minds to. That's, that's it. You put in the blood, sweat and tears, it will work. Don't quit. Once you quit, you know, you, you've given up all hope and, and, you know, and, and you, you should never stop trying to obtain your dreams. Um, but that being said, you know, again, there are people that have the best production whatsoever. Their production's the most amazing thing on the planet, but they can't put two words together or they're boring as all sin. I can't stand seeing that sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm going, hey, you know, <laughs> there's so many people that, that have, you know, worked hard to, on their craft to get better and to build themselves up, you know, and, and now you, you're dealing with this. Uh, but that being said, they deserve the opportunity to shine as well. You know what I mean? So um, and, and look, and, and I'm going to tell you this with 40 years in the industry, 40 years in the industry, I've gotten up and I've, I've spoken in front of tens of thousands of people with a clip. I, sp- I got up and spoke to two or three people with a clip. The, the people, when you're talking to two or three people with a clip, that's a lot more difficult than speaking to a whole ton of people. People, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, people go, oh, no, how could that be? There's so many people. Yeah, because when you got two or three people, that's, you know, you know that these three people are playing, playing full attention to every word you say, you know, but, um, and I still get butterflies. I, I go out and I do it and do my job, but I still get the butterflies. I'm human. You know what I mean? And, and like, okay, I got to work myself up. I got to go and I got to perform. 